Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marie, if this is your first time here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my third pregnancy. Long. As well as um, the things that I bought. I haven't done a haul video in a really long time. Yeah, I've never done a, I haven't done a haul in 2018. How so, as you can see, I'm surrounded by baby things. Um, and I did throw down some dough. Um, for a couple things that I really felt were important to me and so I thought I would give you a little update on how I've been doing and also show you what I bought. But I feel like you're so far away. You're so far away. Okay. So one of the first things that we really talked a lot about and um, kind of were trying to brainstorm about was space. Did we have space in our current place that we're living for five people? So I thought really quickly I would show you some of the changes I made to our home. And eventually I want to do a house tour. And eventually I want to talk to you about some of the content I want to make in 2019. But that's not this video. Let's go. First the bump is getting bigger. Yes, I'm definitely uncomfortable all the time. Okay, so the first thing that we did was we moved my two sons, who are four and a half and three, just turned three, into the bigger bedroom. This bedroom is 12 feet by, I forget, maybe nine feet. It's not huge. So I wanted to maximize play space, so we got these elevated beds. Um, and down here you can see we've made these little play places for them so that they can have maximized floor space in here for creating their messes. So the next thing that I did was I took the closet doors off this bed, this bedroom's closet and I created this bookshelf, which looks crazy messy, but it keeps everything off the floor. Uh, so it's, it's worked out great. And of course, for anyone wondering, it is bolted to the wall. So again, don't laugh about real life situations here, but this room is a lot smaller, I think it's nine by 10. So it fits our Cali King bed. Um, and the real concern was where were we gonna put the crib? This is, again, I took the closet doors off this closet. This crib was actually a gift from my aunt who passed away um, the year my first son was born. Um, it's by Loli and Me. Uh, I think Target sells it. It is wonderful and it's held up so beautifully and we're hoping to have the third baby sleep in it. All right, so after space, our next concern was our car situation. That sounds a little bit odd, but right now my husband and I have two cars that are paid off. So we really didn't wanna have a car payment yet because I'm gonna be taking some time off after baby comes. This other car that we have isn't gonna last much longer and the tricky thing was going to be putting three car seats in that back seat. Now, Google three car seats and you will see it is a huge topic for many families who don't have an SUV or a minivan. So I specifically went to this one brand called Diono. Um, I went for their basic model, which was $200. It can be used all the way up until they're, I think, 40 pounds. Now, the reason I opted for this type of car seat over other types of car seats was space basically from everything i had read and youtube videos i had watched i could fit three in that back seat okay so here is a quick brief shot of a car seat in action the three car seat action these are by costco the kid brand and then here's the diona one and then this is the head support that goes with it so you see it'll be good for a baby so the next thing I wanted, um, because I chase my boys so much, is a really awesome carrier. So this was quite a splurge. I did get it $50 off. I've had several other brands of carriers in the course of having two kids. None of them have I really liked that much. So one of the reasons I picked this Diono carrier um, even though it was a little bit pricey, more pricey than other ones on the market, is first of all, the material is really breathable. Here in Hawaii, using these carriers, man, they get so hot so fast. 
Um, it looks like it, you can transition it all the way up to 40 pounds, which is gonna be helpful. It has this zip pouch back here for keys. <sighs> Something I cannot stress enough that I've needed in these carriers is a spot for your keys. Sometimes you're just at the park for an hour, you don't need to take a diaper bag or anything with you, but you need a place for your keys. And so this sort of fanny pack option was great to me. While the baby is small, it has this insert down here that kind of keeps like newborns really secure. I mean, everything about it just seems like somebody who's had to use these carriers frequently and it's just so super sturdy and awesome. The other thing that I liked is this uber intense back support system. I'm gonna, if I do a video about the carriers that I've used in the past, this is one of my humongous complaints, is feeling like the carrier can um, come loose. And then also as your child gets bigger and you're hiking with them or you're just doing all kinds of things with them in the carrier, there's just not a lot of back support and your back ends up really taking a toll. And so one of the reasons I loved this was this really firm, solid, like substantial back support. For all those reasons, this made this, knowing I'm gonna be having a small baby and then chasing two busy, busy, busy boys around the parks and hiking and doing all this stuff that we normally do, um, I just knew I needed a really solid carrier. So that was where I put a big chunk of baby investment money. So the next thing I wanted was a super awesome epic diaper bag backpack because I knew that we're going to be on the go quite a bit, you know, through baby's first year. So I wanted something substantial that was actually a diaper bag. I've never had a diaper bag with the first two. I just wasn't that kind of person. I just throw it in any bag I had. But for this one, I know that we're gonna be in situations probably where there's not gonna be an adequate place to change baby. So I wanted the diaper pad that came with it. I also wanted to be able to access the backpack with this huge flap rather than those zip up or zip together kind of styles so that it would be easy to find things. So in this front pouch, it came with two other pouches. I bought this I think on Carter's. It was on sale for 50 bucks. There are cheaper versions on Amazon, but you know, Amazon and I have been having an interesting relationship lately in that it just seems like everything that's being sold on there lately is straight from China, which is a whole nother topic, a whole nother video. So I haven't been patronizing Amazon as much lately. So it does come with a refrigerated pouch. Um, it will be nice, handy to store things, but I wanted one for wipes. So that will be really convenient. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a couple of really cute baby clothes. So I did want all organic cotton baby clothes and believe it or not, it's a little bit harder than you would think to find because there's a lot of independent companies that make organic clothing. They're really expensive and if you've had a baby, you know that from zero to three months, they grow out of things like this. The other kind of difficulty I had was that um, not everybody, <laughs> of these smaller companies wants to ship to Hawaii without charging you astronomical fees. I found um, some things through Target. I kind of had to rely on shopping through Target for some of the organic clothing. And there's not a lot of options. And then you add in that we don't know the gender. <laughs> so we're talking very tricky. So one of the websites that I did find called um, Finn and Emma, I wanted to buy everything that they had. So this is one of the ones from Finn and Emma. It's a soft pale pink and yes, it kind of looks girly, but um, it looks gender neutral to me. It made me think of those Rolling Stones song, Wild Horses, and I was like, a boy can rock a little pink when he's a newborn, you know? Um, this was another little romper that I got from Finn and Emma. They actually have a club where if you join the club, you get maybe 20% off every order and then you get a $10 coupon once a month. So I went ahead and signed up for that because their clothes look just absolutely adorable and gorgeous and durable. The other thing that's a must for me are these things called Swaddle Me. We use them with both the boys and hopefully this baby will like it as much. 
Here's my take, my personal take on swaddling. When you're a first time parent, you think your baby doesn't want to be swaddled because your baby wants to get out of the swaddle. However, a lot of the arm movements that babies make, they are not in control of those movements. However, at nighttime, my husband and I have had great success with these swaddle, swaddle things, um, swaddle packs, because the baby, we swaddle them up tightly with a full belly and um, they usually do really well. So they work like this. Um, they do make, they're made by um, Swaddle Me. They do make them in organic cotton. They have a thing right here. And I bought a five pack because they really only work from zero to three months. Once your baby starts rolling over or um, getting at all kind of physically active, you can't really keep put, to the, put them in these. But this was one we really liked. Target actually carries some Lamas, which has organic cotton. So I got a couple of these. Um, this is a Burt's Bees one. I was able to find some Burt's Bees through Target. Okay, so one of the big things for me is safe baby sleep. Now, I'm a nurse and sometimes what you don't know can't hurt you. However, when you're a nurse, you turn into all the things that you know turn you into this like paranoid person. What I really wanted was something extremely safe for baby and then um, something relatively small. So for the first three months, I don't put them in a crib. I put them in more of like a bassinet so we can sleep side by side um, and our breaths can correlate, say that's important. Um, and so what I picked after Actually purchasing the thing I used for my second one, which was a Fisher Price um, sort of flat bassinet thing. I actually decided to go with the Nuna Senna Air Mini. So the thing about this one is that it's actually one of the safest ones on the market because it promotes all this airflow. Um, it's a really quick, easy setup. Um, it comes with a travel bag. So it was $200 for the Mini. I bought it on Nordstrom's website so other websites had better deals on it however other than Nordstrom's however nobody would ship it to me um, and they actually I think they didn't charge me for shipping so you actually press down in the middle so if you've ever set together a pack and play you know that that was like the world's easiest setup for a pack and play so it's part pack and play, part bassinet. One of the things that really drove me crazy about other pack and plays and other um, things that collapse are the fact that the pad usually doesn't sit flat. But if you can see with this pad, it actually sits extremely flat, which is one of the big things for sleep safety for babies. This pad itself is actually washable, which is fantastic because diapers leak, every other diaper, and then you can actually pull this part out. Um, and this is one of the key things that makes it amazing is that it's perforated for airflow, which is another key thing for baby safety. So it snaps right into this little thing down here. It sits extremely flat and it's actually approved for overnight sleep. One of the things that I liked about it is that the liner for the bassinet all around it is mesh meaning that there's complete airflow. Baby's not gonna be rolling up against these side things and having their breath stifled. It did come with this uh, really nice carry bag for travel and one organic sheet. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next week, bye.